hello guys uh, welcome back in this video we will learn intersect knife tool okay uh, we have a polygon cube here so I just uh, wanted to make a copy of that so I want to put it uh, so that it just intersects with each other um, intersect knife is uh, more or less like uh, boolean but it's a bit more different in terms of uh, the result uh, and you have extra level of control uh, at component level but it's not boolean to be precisely so when you're doing this uh, intersect knife tool uh, make sure that uh, these two are you know same objects so uh, if you could see there are two different objects let's say if i press tab and then select the face component and then go to the intersect a uh, knife option then you you should see a warning sign here saying no intersection found and uh, i would like to select both of them and then um, join the objects so it's uh, now joined uh, they are separate meshes but one object okay so once that is done i'm going to press tab and then uh, select the face component here okay so once that is done i would like to choose intersect knife tool so i press shift to z so that i could uh, switch between the uh, shaded mode and the x-ray mode so i'm going to select the uh, intersect knife and you should be able to see there is a new geometry that the lines have been created where this faces are getting intersected okay so if I press uh, the faces again and then move uh, them, you should be able to see uh, those cuttings there. And I could select those, those faces and generally move them. So I'll just go a few steps back and then again try intersect knife. And this time if you could see there are three different options available. Uh, one is uh, uh, separate all and uh, cut and merge so right now it is cut basically which means uh, it is just adding a line and it's creating a new face but it's not separating anything so it's part of the model only but when i say separate mode all now when i select the faces here okay it's uh, separated that way okay so all that are now in different pieces so i'll just undo back again then choose intersect knife this time i would like to merge it okay now when i select the face and then move it you should be able to see that's connected that's merged there so it generally merges the vertices wherever uh, required so these are the three different options what we have and uh, uh, right now it's working with um, uh, the selected and unselected which means uh, when I was like selecting there are two set of objects one is uh, it's the same part of the model but uh, you could see there are they're not merged they're like um, different islands or something so uh, I've selected uh, these faces and I've select uh, there is another set which is not selected so this knife is going to work between uh, selected and unselected okay so you should be able to see that selected and unselected self intersection is uh, one thing you could generally try on the model which has uh, okay it should be something really different so let me create a cube okay and um, I'm going to uh, extrude this uh, faces okay and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this uh, face and I just move it okay uh, even I just rotate it so that the volume is seen and uh, I'm going to move this one and move it there 
So should I be able to see this is uh, I'm trying to work out on but the same model so I'm going to say scale it so that I could uh, cl see clear intersections there. So here uh, uh, you could see I just uh, build this model and it's like one piece of object and then we should able to see there's a penetration of this face going into that. So I, I would like to select all the faces there and then uh, then apply the intersect knife and then you should able to see you have unselected and selected at that time there are no faces generated and uh, when I say self intersect now this is uh, generally giving up me the cutting there okay the lines which we have expected so that's the difference and we have a solver which is basically um, you can choose between okay how this uh, result has to be achieved uh, so one is uh, the fast method it uses a simple mathematical solver and uh, it has got threshold settings which you can adjust yourself okay uh, whereas the exact is uh, a more complex solver for best results so you can choose between them and uh, decide which one is going to you know help you getting the correct cutting so you can try this in a more complex uh, uh, type of meshes and see the difference uh, how this is uh, going to you know f build those lines okay so these are just solvers if uh, if you believe that it, uh, one of the solver is not working just try to explore the other one and see if you're getting the desired result uh, result uh, in the model so that's uh, what this uh, intersect knife is about.